Hey, what's up everyone? Jeremiah here. If you guys are subscribed to my channel, you already know that I use a Zion Smooth Q for a gimbal with my GoPro a lot. And in the past few weeks, I've been trying to figure out how to chest mount it. I watch a lot of the videos from Everyday Dad, and he uses a Bayutech G5 chest mounted, and I thought, man, that'd be cool if I could mount my Zion and get some smoother footage when my son's riding his bike or when I'm riding a bike through the woods or whatever. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys here today how I chest mounted this Zion. That's better. So I'm going to show you how to mount this little guy, what you need to install it, and I'm going to also show you how you could stabilize it a little better. As you can see, I got this thing mounted right now, and as you move around, it bounces up and down a good bit. Now, I seen a video on YouTube that a guy had a little selfie stick mounted to the bottom and just resting on his stomach here to help support it. Well, an easier and a better way that I found is with this little guy right here. It does look goofy when you have it on, but I'm telling you what guys, it makes the footage way more smoother. So I'm going to be doing a test and a review on this uh, little tripod. So if you guys are interested in that, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification so you don't miss it. But this little thing is amazing. So what you want to do is screw this onto the bottom of the gimbal because you've got the quarter mount screw thread on the bottom. It's a little corny, but you can wrap this around your stomach a little bit like this. Bend this up, stick it against your chest. Now when you move, you almost get no no uh, bounciness forward with the gimbal, which, you know, it actually keeps it really nice and tight because you could wrap these around your stomach here. There you go. All right, guys, so now I'm going to show you the things that you need to get this thing installed and mounted on your chest so that you guys can get some great footage. The first thing you're going to need is the chest mount. And these things, this is not the uh, GoPro branded one. It's just a generic one. Now, they do have a newer version of this that GoPro just came out with that has a bigger mounting plate on the back and that would actually probably be more secure so if you guys don't already have one you might want to pay a little extra for that one but if not these cheap ones work just as well all right now the next thing that you're definitely going to need one of the main attachments is this little guy right here and what this is is a ram mount one inch ball that is a handlebar mount for a motorcycle or a, or a rail and you're going to need the one that goes up to at least an inch and a quarter in size because that's the one you're going to need to fit over the Zyun handle. Um, now it doesn't come with this rubber piece and actually I got that from an expandable hose here. Hold on. So I had this expandable hose that blew out and I was able to cut it apart and this is what's inside of it is a little rubber tube. So I took a piece of that and mounted it over top of this u-clamp which gives it a little bit extra cushion and keeps it from slipping now you don't need to put this on there specifically but it did help out in my case and i had it so i went and threw that on so it makes it nice and tight and uh, non-slip on the plastic handle of the zion so that's the first main piece you're going to need i'll put links below to all this equipment that i'm using here and the stuff that you should need to mount yours if you have one and want to mount it so go ahead and check out them links below guys it'll take you to amazon where you can purchase the stuff the next main piece you're going to need is this from ram mount and it's a gopro quick attachment with the one inch ball and this is going to slide right into that chest mount once you have this installed onto your chest this is going to go ahead lock right into there then you're going to have a one inch ball here and you're going to have the one inch ball installed to your Zion. then you're going to need this here it is the bar that attaches this one inch ball here to this one that's attached to your Zion. so you can get different sizes of these i think this one's like two and a half inches but you can get them up to six inches which is the length of this one. I don't know if that one will work very well on a chest uh, mount though. I like to use the small one. Now, this is a different attachment from RAM I bought. It'll hold a cell phone nicely or some other equipment. It's spring loaded, so I use this in my truck a lot. Suction cup this right to the window and put my phone in here for the GPS or whatever. So they make a lot of different options as RAM. You can get uh, things for motorcycles that hold drinks, GPSs, different phones, tablets, all that. I mean, it, they, they make just such a wide range of stuff in their mostly made out of aluminum now they do sell some bases that are made out of plastic so i always buy the aluminum ones because they hold up better now this uh, suction cup is plastic but the actual base that mounts to the suction cup now you have to buy all these pieces usually individually that's the part i'm talking about sometimes they are plastic sometimes they're aluminum so i always go with the aluminum ones but you can adjust it many different ways so i just wanted to show you guys some of the options there with the ram mount now i'm going to go ahead and get it installed here and show you guys exactly how it works. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to want to mount the ball to your Zion. Now the best place to mount this is going to be right below the controls on the handle which is right here. Throw this on the front like this and I'm going to go ahead and tighten it down. Alright so now I got the ball attached to the Zion. You can see right here 
fits nicely over the handle. And this is what it looks like attached completely to the chest mount. So you have the chest mount, the quick attach GoPro piece, the bar that mounts the two together, and then the handlebar mount that attaches to the Zion. So if you want to get this footage even more stable, you're going to need one of these bendable tripods. Alright guys, so now that I got this thing mounted, it's like super hot out here. It's about 100 degrees out, so I'm going to go over and jump in the pool real quick. When I get back, we're going to throw this thing on and run around, jog around, walk around, go up and down some steps, maybe do some bicycling around. We're going to see how good this thing works and see if it's worth doing this. Just give me one second. I'm going to go jump in the pool and I'll be right back. You guys want to come with me? Come on, let's go. Alright guys. So I'm going to go ahead and walk around a little bit and see how this thing does. And I mean it's still bouncing around a little bit. You can hold it down here to make it a little more stable. Go up and down these steps a little bit. Let's go up sideways. Go back down. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and run around a little bit. It bounces way too much when it's like this. It bounces way too much when it's like this, unless you're holding this down here. If you're holding this, it's not bouncing so bad, but what's the point? If you're gonna hold it, you might as well just hold it. Alright, I'm going to go get my bicycle and see how we do on that. Alright guys, my bike was a little hard to get down so I'm just going to cruise around on my wife's bike here and see how good it works. See if we can get some good smooth footage. Let's see what happens. So it's a little bit bouncy and it didn't turn as fast as I wanted it to as I was turning. Um, it takes a second or two. You can adjust some of those settings in the in the settings, but I'm not going to go in there and adjust those every time I'm going to wear this. I don't know. It's a little bit bouncy. We'll see what it looks like after when I start editing. So I think I should take this off of this uh, handlebar mount and attach it to these handlebars and see how good that works. Let's give it a shot. Well, I realize that's not going to work because I only have one handlebar mount. Sorry guys. Let's go ahead and take a spin in the woods and see what kind of footage we get out of that. Alright, up here in the woods, cruising around, seeing what kind of footage we get. Go ahead and turn around up here. Head back. So it's not turning as fast as I am. All right guys, so we just, just did a trip through the woods. Uh, we'll go ahead and see what this footage looks like when I edit it, and hopefully it's smooth. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe. Please comment below with any questions or anything that you may have. And please watch some of my other videos. Check them out guys. You might find some stuff interesting. Yeah, I'm out of breath. I'm out of shape. What's my honest opinion of it? I would say that I'm probably not gonna wear it like this. It's a little bit heavy. I love the Zion because the battery life is phenomenal on it, but it's just a little bit heavy for this situation. And if you're walking around with it, you might get some good footage. You could probably get some decent footage on a bicycle, but as far as running around or moving around a lot, it's better just to hold it. You can get a lot of the um, shakiness out when you're holding it versus when you're wearing it. 
Now I would like to try out one of the Zion wearable gimbals or a Fatec wearable gimbal in the future. Maybe if I get enough money to get one, I'll go ahead and do a test and review on that. But as far as this goes, yes, you can mount it, but is it worth it? I, I don't know. I mean, maybe. It, you guys are just going to have to decide for yourself what situation you would use it in and if it's worth it for you. So I appreciate you guys watching and I hope you found something helpful in here. And I'll put the links below, like I said, for any of the equipment that I have in here. If you might want to purchase it and try it out for yourself. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe. Please hit that bell notification. I got a review coming up on this awesome little bendable tripod here. And also Fayotech extension stick that you can use as a selfie stick or extension for the gimbal. And that helps you get those high shots which I love doing, so it's pretty cool. If you guys watch some of my other videos, you've probably seen it in there. I'm hoping to see you guys on the next one, so don't forget, guys, please subscribe, please comment, don't forget to share, and if you enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up, and I'm hoping to see you guys on the next one.